What is the farmer thinking about while he is looking at his dock? Well, I can find out when I listen to the story carefully. How the farmer divided his duck. Once upon a time in a village, there lived a poor farmer. One day, he had nothing left to eat at home. I ran out of grain. Ah, what can I do? Well, there is not much I can do. I should visit my landlord and try to get something to eat. The farmer fried his one last duck and took it to his landlord. The landlord welcomed the farmer with the duck. <clears throat> Thank you very much for bringing this precious duck. Now, I should divide this duck equally for my wife, two sons, two daughters, and myself. But how am I going to do that? That's very easy. Let me divide the duck equally for all of you. The farmer cut off the head of the duck with a knife and gave it to the landlord. You are the head of this whole family, so take the head. And then the farmer cut off the duck's butt and gave it to the landlady. Since you mostly sit at home and look after this home, take the butt of the duck. Then, the farmer gave each leg to the two sons and each wing to the two daughters. You two boys have to follow your father's path, so take the legs. And you two girls have to fly and leave this home when you get married, so take the wings. In the end, the farmer took the whole body of the duck for himself and said, And let me take the rest of it. Oh, you are very witty. <laughs> the landlord was very pleased with the farmer's wit and gave him a lot of money and grain. The rumor that the poor farmer had earned a lot of money and grain with just a duck spread throughout the whole village. A rich farmer in the neighborhood heard this rumor. So he earned that much money and grain with only one duck? Okay then, I'm going to... <laughs> The greedy rich farmer carried five ducks with a great effort and visited the landlord. There are six members in my family, but there are only five ducks. Why don't you divide them equally for us? The greedy farmer thought and thought and thought, but he couldn't think of a good idea. The landlord called the poor farmer. The landlord asked the poor farmer to divide the five ducks equally among the six members in the family. Well now, the sum of the landlord, landlady, and a duck is three. The sum of the two sons and a duck is also three. And the sum of the two daughters and a duck is three as well. And then, the sum of the last two ducks and me is three. What do you think? Now everything is equal, isn't it? The landlord had a good and loud laugh and gave the poor farmer more money and grain. The greedy farmer, on the other hand, only lost his five ducks. Wow! It was quite interesting how the farmer divided the ducks. 